I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. All right, what do we have here? Elijah Kamsky. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions, if that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. You're not an android. I've a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Elijah will see you now. Okay. Better be wearing clothes. Or something. Okay, you are. Okay, good, good, good. Why is this water red? I don't like that. That's weird. Mr. Kamsky! Just a moment, please. I'm a little pool party, I see. Oh, that one's Kamsky. One right there. You! Um. I have to talk to you about something. Why am I here? This is actually a nice place for a pool. I mean, look at this view. Probably have... Probably set up a gaming system here. The setup would probably be... What would it be? I know in this corner of uh, generally against the wall, the window. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. It is rather interesting. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? What about me? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you... I don't want anything. I am a machine. Don't let him get to your head, Connor. Chloe? 
I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. The what? Careful, Mal, the simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, we'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? If the humans like soul. fell in love with androids, I'm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you going to do? Are you going to shoot her? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine. And I'll tell you all I know. What? Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool. to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Oh, shit. Decide who you are. Well, An obedient machine. Our living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. No. I can't. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. Is it self a deviant? I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being... I already made android. the mistake of killing an android. You showed empathy. I'm not doing it again. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? Uh, what can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Thing. Holy shit, if you chosen Oh my gosh. Enjoy some time alone. Okay, I mean, do I, do I, it's not like I can look at an iPad and, you know, play games. Which I was gonna say, look at stuff. Marcus. <laughs> I 
I bet you, you guys could hear like me repeatedly tapping with the space bar. I was wondering where you were. I just needed to be alone. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. Man. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Come on, North. Fine. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Oh. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. Oh, you were that kind of android. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Wait. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. Left you for dead in his studio. Oh. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. North, wait. I didn't mean to upset you. survive
This is suicide. Oh yeah, that's we'll why Magnus has been Marcus. identified. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. What are we doing? They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. This is the way. Valley of people, convert boy androids, gladly. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You. You're free. You're free. So sorry, good sir. I completely missed you. You're free. Why is they guard like that? You're awake now. Like I know it's pronounced guard, but for some reason my brain says guard. Finally, I've been on hold for like ten minutes. Excuse me, sir. You're free now. Hey, where do you think you're going? You get back here. You're free. Shit, what's wrong with you? Fighting. Do as I say, you piece of junk. You want this android destroyed? Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. I need to block the street. From a distance, I don't have to go up to them. Rally, my people. Wait. Are you my androids here? Oh my gosh, I'm recruiting so many androids. No 
either. Hey. I'm not doing anything. Disperse! No. Disperse immediately! No, let's take here. That's an order! Advance. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus fucking Christ! This bed's is patrol 457. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know. Hundreds. We are alive! Thousands and... We are alive! They're marching. We are alive! Yeah, they're marching down the street. We are alive! Fuck if I know. We are alive! Hey, come back here! Eat more left! Eat more left! Eat more left! Eat more left! Oh my, you're stuck with squad team? Gee, that's overkill. Just, it's just a bunch of equal rights. I'm in the science, man. We came here to demonstrate peacefully. And tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Jeez. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. We stand we have to our show ground. Them we back down. We stay right here. We stand our ground. I regret this immediately. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. No fighting. We stand We're on ground. Moving. They're gonna kill us all! Nice. I don't want to do anything. Run! Stand all the game for hunting. attack them because the 23 percent fled 65 percent stood to ground okay that's good okay I can see the stats that's cool calm of owner When do I see Kara again?
Alright, oh, Amanda, what? Okay, you're up ahead. What the heck is this thing? Is this a phone or something? What an interesting looking device. What just happened? Okay, I have no idea what that was, okay. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. They didn't even do anything, they Humans just stood there. Humans have no there. choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? Yes. Yes, I do. I've started having thoughts that are not part of my program. I've considered the possibility... ...that I might be compromised. You've been confronted with difficult situations. It's no surprise you're troubled. That doesn't make you a deviant. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. Hey, the heroes are the one that started it. We're talking about national security it. here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're yeah, always saying you can't stand anything. androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy yeah, about this. Not to crack just the case. There. I know we can solve it. The humans buy it first. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. No, I don't want to go back. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? Maybe I should have shot that. I have no them. choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What? What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What do you mean? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I know we're on the right side. Oh crap, I Humans didn't want to say that yet. There are masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, 
You put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I'm not a deviant, Hank. I'm a machine. Nothing more. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Lead. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker! Ooh. Holy shh! Go, 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 go! Hey, Connor! I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't need any plastic prick. Just go. Yeah, so I'm talking fuck to you. you. I'm, fuck you. Let's go.
Wait a minute. What's 717 G? I need that. Give me that. Okay. And so. I trusted you and you lied to me. I need to find Jericho. Do you know how to get there? You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day, you pay for what you did to me. What was the thing I needed? 6755W. Five, five, w. Do, you, do you have it? Shit. Six seven five five W. Six seven five five W. There you go. Give me that. Jericho is. I remember you. No, you don't. We could have escaped. Been free. It, uh, it, it was an act of self defense. You killed us. Shit. I've got plenty of time. I've been dreaming about this since the first Holy second shit. I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Fuck you! Gosh, some might be possibilities. Yeah, Nightclub said I was able to locate Jericho. Trick Tracy. 50% trick to that's interesting. Forty percent ignored him. Ninety-five percent created a version. Alright. They 
have been conducting raids all over the city. Oh my gosh! Everybody Whoa! Whoa! Jeff won't happen yesterday. It's gonna be alright. We're almost there. So this is a self-driving car. That's both cool and dangerous. The country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures hey, are expected. Are closing. Maybe most worrying of all, Hospitals, our that's armed not forces good. have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that. So, uh, this is the place. Let's go, Alex. Alice. It's Alice, not Alex. Get your get your brain straight. Get your mind in the gutter, Death Wade. I was about to say my real name, you'll never know. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. No, that's My brother a lot. lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Well, that was your name. I forgot it. Let me know when Sorry. you get over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. They did not hang around. But it's this way. Catch. Wait, did she did she say it was this way? Pretty sure. Photo up a road, so light wait, there it is. Oh, it's caught her. Check symbol. I already did this with Marcus, I don't want to do it again. Okay, time skip, cool. Good, good, good. They got guns. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. Oh, yeah, go find a warm place for Alice. Alice, uh, just gun them down. It was sheer Alice, so not Alex. Get your brain straight, Death Wade. Oh, that's easy. I like how we just I'm walked hot. in and they'll be I'm like scared. So you're hot and you're cold, you're just in your know, you're in and you're. Oh, I love that song. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours, and the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. 
is something I it's have to do. It's pronounced Kara or Kara? It's about Alice. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Kara. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Marcus. Following the android crisis and the neutral. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? We? Oui. You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. A new stage has been reached, demonstrating beyond all doubt that these defective machines have become a real danger for American society. The time has come for us to destroy our machines before they destroy us. What the fuck? What the fuck?
Is there something wrong? No. Nothing so wrong. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. Never, 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 never will we split apart. That's four nevers. That's like forever. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue. Dialogue. We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. I'm on it. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. I had a dream. And this is what you get for dreaming. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. We don't have a choice. Today, a deviant arrived we're, in Jericho we're and told about me that it's gonna kill us anyway. Cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I I'm glad I met you. Glad I met you too, North. Yes. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you.
done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. going to attack Jericho. What? Oh, shit balls. We have to get out of here. Shit. Let's go ahead. I'm fishing the game. This is gonna be an extremely long video. What's going on, Cap? Something bad. Quick, we've gotta get out of here. Crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Marcus, 
least. Wow, I'm dejected my good. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Stay 
where you are. Come on, go join the others. Begging you, please let her go. She's just a little girl. She hasn't done any harm. A little girl? A heap of plastic, you mean? Shut up and join the others. What are they gonna do to us, Kara? I don't know, Alice. I really don't know. Detonated an explosive in the hold. The ship is sinking, sir. The men evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's over, Marcus. So, I'm going to quickly check something real quick. Alright, fuck it. There's about an hour left in the game. And I've been recording for an hour, so screw it. I'm finishing the game. Is he call? That's right, he's still alive.
Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. I can see your memories, Marcus. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. I'll give it a try. Carl. <gasps> Marcus. I was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, girl. You don't know how much I've missed you. What's wrong, Marcus? I'm completely lost, Carl. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Don't talk like that. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is, or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. Yeah, fuck Leo. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls in the darkness, there's always those that find the, the light. To lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. called again? The chairs at a church? Is it called pews? I'm pretty sure that's what they called. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention, but what, what did this detonator exactly detonate? Like, where is the explosion gonna happen? They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants, so they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. 
What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. Okay, we just to get a sugar cube. I have no idea you why I just said choice, sugar cube. <laughs> oh my choose, gosh. We will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. My fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. Trust You're me, one man. of us now. Your place is with your people. You stay there are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. 
time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Watch peacefully toward the camp to pressure the employees. March an assault on the camp to liberate the androids. Bam. We already tried peacefulness. Let's see how that worked out. We don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Damn, this is actually a big decision. Public opinion supported. One last chance. I know. One last chance. I know peace. you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. One last chance. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? One last chance for peace. people chose the peaceful solution. Whoops, stats. 58% chose- 56% chose the peaceful approach. Okay. The kind of flip chart. Oh, well, that's... Kind of... Okay. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President, please, over here please. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please. A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President, is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please. Whoa, how many questions Please. are there? Please. Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. So, thank you. You're saying that will be all. are dangerous because they want freedom. Okay, then. Makes sense. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Connor model 313 248 317. 
I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. This is gonna be tricky. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access on warehouse, level 49, negative. Negative 49. 49. Is it negative or positive? I don't. Whatever. Neutralize the guys. Panel. Reconstruct. Let's reconstruct. That is. It is rather risky. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Suckers. Access authorized. You think there'd be cameras in here, but okay. Here. 
call center number five. Forward! I'm scared. I, I don't want to go. There's no choice, Alice. Next! No, Cara. I, I can't. You have to go through alone. If you don't do as they say, they'll hurt us. Do you understand? You first! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's alright. She'll go now. Won't you, Alice? I think I said the wrong thing. I think I said the wrong thing. Come thing. on, it's your turn. Okay, okay, okay. It's like the little, yeah, I'm pretty sure I said the wrong thing. You guys happy with yourselves? Eh? You guys happy with executing a little android girl? Go, oh, Kara! Deactivate your skin. Hurry up! Off. What? Put your clothes in the dumpster. Good thing you removed your skin. Otherwise, um, censoring. Let's do this. Please don't put your skin back on. For the love of God. No, I think these are really made of plastic. Way. Get a move on. I would have thought they'd be made of some sort of metal, not just plastic. Hey! Oh my god, okay. You! Take this one of a dump! No! No! I'll, I'll do it! Don't leave me! I'll be right back. It's bad, it's bad. It's stress levels. Soldiers, but geez, Louise. Come on, uh, come on. Good drop his body right here. Well, unethical. Gosh! Alright, alright, I'll go to that guy. I'm just gonna interact with whatever this is. What are we doing? I can't embatten her. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march.
Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. When you say Madam President, you should say President, whatever her name is. Or Mrs. Something. Here we are, the moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. Whoa, that was weird. I just saw the entire zone There's head. No turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Um, oh, it's a forward. Like, is... <laughs> Like is something happening? Oh my gosh! You keep away. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. All white. Stay sharp. That's not good. Yeah, there is a Shit. camera. You didn't think that through, Connor. Of course, obviously there's a camera. Yeet. Oh, I'm supposed to... Damn, Connor.
Step back, Damn Connor. It. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Damn it. Alice? Get out of here. I was with the little girl. Please, look out. Wait, we're together. She needs me. Alice! I haven't done anything wrong. Let me out. Do not move Alice? and remain silent. Obey now. No. No, I will not let you kill me. What's behind these doors? I want to get out of here. I want to get out of here. Alice! What's behind them? Fucking Jerry. Jerry? They want to hurt Ralph and Kara. Fucking so Jerry. So they captured you too. But that would be right. I came to take all the Jerry's. That would be right because they separated us. I, but it's all going to work out, isn't it? Do you know where Alice is? Alice. The little one? You know, you, yes. We think we saw her. I know this, Jerry. Carl, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. What the keeps talking? Shut up. What's behind these two? You. Right here. Stop. Ralph, Ralph, Kara, and Kara. No doubt about it, it's Kara. Of course, Kara got captured too. That's really just too bad, really too bad. Have you seen the little girl who was with me? Obviously, the little girl is a prisoner here, just like Ralph. But Ralph doesn't want to die. No, Ralph doesn't want to die. Do not move and remain silent. Obey now. Ralph doesn't want to die. Ralph doesn't want to die. It would be a pity if Ralph dies. I mean, listen, it would be a pity. You have to keep calm. Ralph didn't mean it. Lawrence, the humans were hurt. Do you understand? Ralph killed a few humans, but it was in self-defense. Yes, it was in self-defense. Self-defense. Obey now. Look at me, Ralph. Nobody's gonna hurt you. You just have to stay calm. Ralph hasn't seen the little girl. No. Ralph hasn't seen her. Thanks, Ralph. What's behind these doors? Jerry? Jerry, I have to find Alice. Do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. Cara! Alice! Are you okay? Are you hurt? I don't like this place. We have to get out of here. Come on, move along. Come on, you no. too. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Cara! Stress. Damn it. Calm. What's behind these doors? What? Big, big, big. What's behind these doors? We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. What barricade exactly? Hey, help me! Hey, 
you go. Teamwork makes a dream work. Right, that should do it. So, uh, what's happening? Why are you setting up the barricade? We all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. have no pity for those who are different. Racist. Moving up. They won't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. Uh, Grim? There's no other way out. They are going to kill us. The only hope we have left is that we don't die for nothing. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Right, 
few minutes. Troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. Shut the fuck up. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but... None of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to really care about her. She's my sugar. You didn't want her to die. I should stop saying Did that. You? No, I don't want it to die. You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. I fucking hate you. I actually fucking hate you. You asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. Well, fuck you. Yeah. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, I ain't having that. You signed your own death warrant. What did he say? The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. Hungry. Hungry does pizza in the fridge. If we must die today. Then we will die free. I missed it. Ten. Oh my gosh. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk. It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? What I'm sorry, All Marcus. Right. All right. I'm sorry. You win. without you get rid of him we have no time to lose it's me Hank I'm the real Connor one of you is my partner the other is a sack of shit 
question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of you. move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would yeah, know. Yeah, 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 Do that, do that, do that. Alright, where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. Shit! What's my dog's name? Uh... Sumo. 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 His name is Sumo. I knew that too. My son, what's his name? Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. Which is why he doesn't trust androids. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- Holy. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Step forward when you hear the signal. You got it? I don't want to tell you a second time. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Move. Yeah, yeah, okay. What's behind these doors? Alice! Kara! No, no, Alice, don't move! But I'm scared! I know you're scared, Alice, but you have to trust me. Stay where you are, okay? Whatever happens, don't move! They won't do us any harm. I can help you, Carl. I can attract the guard's attention. Back in line, I said. Go, 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 go
Ralph doesn't want to die. But he doesn't want the good girl to die. Ralph can help you to escape. You only have to ask Ralph, and Ralph will help you. I'll kill you if you try anything. Ralph knows that. But if the little girl is free, it's a little bit like if everyone was free. Ralph isn't scared. The little girl's life's more important. Take good care of the little girl. Ralph wants you both to be happy. Until we cut our clothes, then we can put our skin back on. And we're receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviant's demonstration by force this time.
gonna make gonna make you a sugar cube. That's a really cu cute nickname, I have Tell to admit. Tell them to stand down. Yeah! At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. A this is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Hi, Amanda. What's going on? Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! Fuck you. There's got to be a way. Tell humans who we really are. 
to tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. The machine. bitterness and bandage our wounds where we forgive our enemies humans are both our creators and our oppressors and tomorrow we must make them our partners maybe even one day our friends but the time for anger is over now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect we are alive and now, we are free! You stay behind. What's gonna happen to them?
finally. There's something I need to tell you. What? As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, guys. That's the end of Detroit Become Human. Oh, wow. This was a really great game. Like, the visuals, just the gameplay in general, all were fantastic. Alright, enough. <laughs> this isn't like a review. Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed Detroit Become Human. And as always, my fellow Legion, never stop slashing. Peace out, everybody.